This video will take you through the STP processing within Advanced People. Advanced People will automatically send STP reporting as part of the process for completing a pay run in one easy step. This includes automatic tax file declarations for new employees and finalising any exiting employees. First, we have to set up Single Touch Payroll. The user setting up Single Touch Payroll must be logged into Advanced People using two factor authentication. We begin by registering for standard business reporting under Payroll Preferences, which will allow Advanced People to send information to the ATO. Set up each company by clicking on the Request Software ID and then set up the access permissions to the ATO Access Manager. This process notifies the ATO of your hosted service. Now we can enable STP under Payroll Preferences. Once STP has been enabled, we can run the Check Company Data function to validate the data configured in Advanced People. The built-in validation makes it easy to identify and correct data to prevent errors when STP is activated at the end of each pay run. For example, we can see that a pay item has not been configured with a valid ATO category. We can use the link to navigate straight to the source, the Super Guarantee pay item. The ATO category can be corrected through the Payout Liabilities by selecting the appropriate ATO category. When all the errors are resolved, your company data is ready to go. When setting up a new employee in Advanced People, as part of setting up their pay details, you can submit their TFN declaration. Any new TFN declarations will be sent as part of the next pay run, and the employee's TFN declaration status will be updated upon a successful transmission, so it's easy to check the current status. Pay events are compiled and sent automatically at the completion of a pay run. Each pay run will generate an STP batch. The batch will include a pay event for each company paying employees in this pay run. The values being the year-to-date figures for all the items paid to the employee. Termination pay items are included and the termination date is reported. This in turn finalises the employee. Automatic STP reporting means that you will never forget this important step, but you may want to check on the submission. The Manage STP Submissions function is used to confirm processing via STP has been successful. For each STP batch, you can view all the different types of information. For example, terminations and TFN declarations. There are a number of different statuses for a submission and all of these are defined in the online help. At the end of the financial year, use the STP update function to check year-to-date figures. Finally, use the STP finalise function to advise the ATO when all of your employees' tax returns can be pre-populated. Advanced People simplifies STP reporting, whilst also providing visibility that builds confidence in the process.